हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दी अनदर से ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एसी सर्किट्स ओके व्हाट इज अल्टरनेटिंग करंट व्हाट इज साइकल व्हाट इज एम्पलीट्यूड व्हाट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी व्हाट इज टाइम पीरियड इंस्टेंटेनियस वैल्यू पीक वैल्यू रूट मीन स्क्वायर वैल्यू एवरेज वैल्यू और मीन वैल्यू फॉर्म फैक्टर and what is peak factor so we also discuss about how passive elements behave when connected to ac okay so ac through pure resistive circuit ac through pure inductive circuit ac through pure capacitive circuit so again we will discuss about ac circuits that is ac series circuits rl series circuit rc series circuits rlc series circuits and also we study about ac parallel circuits comparison with ac series circuits three phase circuits and polyphase circuits okay without further any delay let's get started so first we should know about what is alternating current okay alternating current ac we all know that what are all the supply that we are getting to our ohm is ac correct the current whose magnitude and direction both changes with the time okay what is ac the current whose magnitude and direction changes with time okay let me explain you here the current whose magnitude the current okay this is i the current whose magnitude this is magnitude changing okay and direction also changing see this is positive and negative and magnitude also changing with respect to time is nothing but ac alternating current okay so from where we are getting this ac that is alternating current so we are getting this sinusoidal ac from when a coil rotates okay when a coil rotates in a uniform magnetic field okay so we have connected a coil so it will rotate will rotate then ac will be produced at a angular velocity of omega so now we talk about this this is called positive amplitude and this is called negative amplitude or positive peak value and this is negative peak value okay so what is the frequency here frequency in india is 50 hertz so first let us understand what is cycle okay cycle is nothing but what one complete set of positive and negative one complete set of positive and negative see i am representing here only one cycle so for 50 hertz it will be 1 over 50 that will be 20 milliseconds for 20 milliseconds there will be 50 time 50 this type of sine waves will be producing okay so what is cycle one set of positive and 
नेगेटिव ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग क्वांटिटी इज नोन एज साइकल ओके वन कंप्लीट साइकल इज सेट टू बी स्प्रेड ओवर थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री करेक्ट or 2 pi so this is 0 this is pi and this is 2 pi or 360 degree so if we talk about amplitude what is amplitude amplitude is, is nothing but the maximum value that's it the maximum value of positive or negative suppose we say 5 volts is maximum value okay then it is 5 volt 5 volts positive or negative cycle is nothing but amplitude okay so frequency what is frequency now frequency the number of cycles per second the number of cycles per second is nothing but frequency okay suppose if you say f is 50 hertz then we have t is equals to 1 by f correct 1 divided by 50 how much it will give 20 millisecond so there will be 50 cycles in 20 milliseconds okay so if you talk about time period what is time period time taken to complete one set of cycle or complete cycle that is t equals to 1 by f seconds okay now we will talk about instantaneous value what is instantaneous value instantaneous value is the value at a particular instant suppose we have sine wave here okay we have volt so this is 5 volt okay suppose at this instance it is 1 volt at this instant it is 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 so so the instantaneous value of an alternate alternating current or voltage is the value of voltage or current at a particular instant okay value at a particular instant understood so what is peak value peak value or maximum value is, is one and the same that is the maximum value of an alternating current or voltage so example suppose we have the sine wave okay here we have 5 volts 10 volts okay what is the maximum value that is 10 volts so here 10 volts is 
maximum value both in positive and negative direction okay so next we have root mean square value root mean square value so what is this root mean square value this is very much important okay so what are all the supply we are getting is rms value everything will be rms only okay so how where this will be used so the rms value of an alternating current is given by the steady state current when which is flowing through the given circuit okay when dc is flowing through a circuit is producing the same amount of heat when the ac is flowing through the same circuit okay so mainly this is used for power purpose okay better write down so what is rms rms value of alternating current is given by steady state or steady dc current which when flowing through a given circuit for a given time produces the same heat same heat as produced by ac in same circuit and same time okay so how to calculate this root mean square value so you have to come from backward to forward okay suppose we have c in dc there is no change in magnitude or direction correct so it will be same when it comes to ac there will be different value okay suppose if you want to calculate uh, power so suppose if we say 20 volt ac at this particular instant the value will be different and at this particular instant the value will be different at this particular instant the value will be different correct so we in order to know the exact value amount of power which we required so we need to calculate the rms value okay so take a instantaneous value that is suppose 2 3 4 5 6 till 20 or some five values and square them okay take average mean is nothing but average then square root the average value you will get the root mean square value that root mean square value will be equivalent to the dc of the same circuit or the power or the current which is flowing through the same circuit which produces the heat this is what root mean square value okay so the rms value can be calculated via 0.07 emax or you can say v max or i max into 1 by root 2 that will be 0 0.707 v max rms okay so now if you talk about the average value or mean value what is it 
the average value of an alternating current is expressed by the steady current which transfers across the circuit at the same change in the transferred by the alternating current okay the value is given by so let, let's do, uh, write down this okay average value of alternating current is expressed by that steady state current that is dc which transfer across any circuit has the same change is transferred in or by AC during same time understood so how we can calculate the average value average value is given by 0 0.637 times of v max or i max maximum value of current or voltage into 0 0.637 let me write it better 637 okay so what is form factor now we will discuss about form factor it is the ratio of RMS value to average value ok we will note uh, the notation will be like this KF or you can write it as FF anything is fine so form factor is given by RMS by average correct 0 0.707 point 0.0637 is nothing but 1.11 this is the form factor what is peak factor it is a ratio of maximum value of rms to the effective value of alternating current so this will be like maximum value to the RMS value that is nothing but V max upon V max by root 2 that will be root 2 this is the peak factor so now we will discuss about AC through various passive elements when passive elements are connected to AC and what happens ok suppose if you talk about AC through pure resistive circuit so what is AC through pure resistive circuit so when resistor is connected with AC or across AC ok here in the circuit so this is current and this will be voltage current and voltage V or I this is T so what happens both voltage and current will be in phase there will no there will not be any angle formed when AC is connected so in your family when only boy is there there will be like Shanti kind of 
वातावरण करेक्ट सो एंड ओम्स ला कैन बी रिटर्न करंट आई इक्वल्स टू ई बाय आर और वी बाय आर करेक्ट सो वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन वोल्टेज एंड करंट विल बी इन फेज ओके दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो ए सी थ्रू प्योर इंडक्टिव प्योर इंडक्टिव here comes the problem okay when ac is connected or inductor is connected across ac there will be a problem in family correct some will say someone will say ahead someone will say behind okay likewise suppose i said voltage and current are like mother and father correct some sometimes it happens like mother is leading father is lagging okay likewise here if we say vector representation so this is like this okay 90 degree here voltage current here what happens when ac or a pure inductive circuit is connected across alternating current current lags current lags behind by 90 degree from the voltage okay so how will be representing so we have this what happens here it will start and it will go like this okay what is this this is voltage and this will be current i voltage v what happening here here you can see at 90 degree current is lagging behind voltage so ohms law if we talk i equals to e by xl or v by xl let's continue with the next slide so power is given by p equals to vi cos phi correct so in pure inductive circuit resistance of r is zero that's why that is r equals to zero cos phi equals to we have r by xl then cos phi will be zero since r value is zero so p equals to v into i into zero power will be zero so hence power consumed in pure inductive circuit is 
zero. Okay. Next we have AC through pure capacitor. The capacitor is connected across AC. What happens? So let's draw this in way. So here it will be like this. So voltage is here. Current is somewhere here. Okay. This is current. Or let me represent like this. This is current. What happens here? I equals to two pi f c v. Okay. So x equals to we know that x equals to one divided by two pi f c. Here x l equals to two pi f l. So x equals to one divided by two pi f c. Here also whenever a capacitor is connected. Across AC, then what happens? Vector representation. Voltage. This is time. Time will not come here. Okay. So what happens here? Okay, nothing is missing. So here, current leads voltage by ninety degree. Okay. Power consumed here also. Zero. Power consumed in pure inductive and pure capacitive circuit is zero. Okay. So now we'll discuss about AC series circuits. RL, RC, RLC. Okay. R. L AC. Then we have R C. This is circuit representation. Then we have R L C. Okay. When they are connected to AC, AC. R L R C. R L C. So here, formula impedance Z will be under root R square plus X L square, where X L is two pi F L. Ohms. Current can be calculated as I equals to V by Z. Okay. 
so power factor can be calculated for r l series circuit cos phi equals to r by z that is true power upon apparent power true power is nothing but what what this is v a okay so here it is v r equals to i r here v l equals to i times x l so if you talk about r c just now we talk about r l now we will talk about r c formula so here power consumed if you talk in r l series circuit p equals to v i cos phi so p will become i square r power consumed okay so here if you talk about for R rc circuit series rc circuit z equals to that is impedance equals to under root r square sorry r square plus x e square where x e is equals to 1 divided by 2 pi 1 divided by 2 pi f c in ohms ok so current i equals to v by z power factor we have cos phi equals to r by z or angle of load phi is equals to cos inverse of r by z what is this phi load angle then we have power consumed p equals to v i cos phi that is p equals to i square r then if you talk about r l c circuit so formula for impedance will be z equals to under root r square plus xl divided xl minus xc square where xl equals to 2 pi fl l in henry correct c in farad xc is what here 1 divided by 2 pi fc See when it comes to RLC, whenever series RLC circuit is there, there comes a condition when XL equals to XC, that condition is called as resonance. This condition, so where in a family everybody is there, when two women are fighting together, when a man enters, he will be busted. So it is better to be silent when xl equals to xc so you can utilize full of your time or you can enjoy so here boy will enjoy the drama okay and he will be having all the powers okay when it compare with our family correct so here current again v by z power factor will be r by z ok then we have power consumed p equals to v i cos phi that is p equals to i square r see why i am writing only formulas here so we are discussing only in the point of view of competitive exams correct so i will be explaining all these formulas how these are come so in 
network analysis while we were studying about ac circuits in details while solving some problems practical problems okay so now we will be discussing or comparison of series and parallel circuit okay this chart is very much important okay remember this so impedance at resonance okay for series or lc parallel rlc okay what happens here it will be minimum impedance at parallel resistance or parallel rlc circuit is maximum then we have current at resonance in series rlc maximum so in series rlc circuit current at resonance will be maximum how we have to study like this so in parallel rc circuit current at resonance will be minimum okay how maximum we have just v by r here we have v divided by l divided by cr okay so then we have effective impedance if we talk about the effective impedance in rlc series circuit it will be r effective impedance in parallel rc circuit rlc circuit is l divided by cr where if you talk about power factor at resonance is unity in series rlc whereas power factor at resonance in parallel rlc circuit is also unity now if you talk about resonant frequency resonant frequency of rlc circuit series rlc circuit is fr is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi under root lc many questions will be asked from this formulas okay you need to remember these formulas resonant frequency of parallel rlc circuit is 1 divided by 2 pi under root 1 divided by lc minus r square divided by l square then we have it magnifies what so in rlc series circuit it magnifies the voltage in parallel rlc circuit it magnifies current okay then we have lastly magnification is in rlc series circuit is voltage omega l by r here omega l by r okay so remember this table okay you, you can take this screenshot if you want so let's move on further now we will talk about three phase circuits so what is three phase circuits in case of three phase circuits the three phase currents are determined by considering each phase separately okay in three phase circuit 
each phase is considered considered separately and calculating current or three phase from phase voltage and impedances in the same manner okay for single phase circuits in practice three phase systems are usually symmetrical correct so having calculated in phase currents the line currents are obtained from the following simple rules okay so when it comes to star connected system okay when you are three phase circuit is connected in star then line current will be equals to phase current when it is connected in star but whereas line voltage will be root 3 times of phase voltage okay remember this so when it is connected in delta when your three phase supply is connected in delta form line current will be that is il will be root 3 times of phase current phase current okay whereas line voltage will be equals to phase voltage that is v phase v l equals to v phase v l equals to root 3 times of v phase here okay you should remember these things in three phase what is star connected it will be like this the supply will be connected like this this is star r by b this will be neutral this is delta connected there won't be any neutral so r y b okay so what is this polyphase circuit polyphase circuit is nothing but more than one phase supply is called polyphase more than one phase is called polyphase okay if number of armature windings are used in alternator then this is called a polyphase alternator if the number of armature windings are used in alternator then this is called polyphase alternator correct so the angle of displacement can be calculated by the formula okay so if you talk about angle of displacement
that is electrical displacement is nothing but 360 degree electrical degree upon number of phases ok so this is what the polyphase circuits so that is all for this session so in next session we will be discussing some mcqs what are all the topics till now we have completed so this completes your electrical circuit syllabus that is basics which is required for assistant electrical inspector and various examinations ok thank you for the watching video see you in the next session